Lucky here with your Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com, and today we have another box breaking for you. This is Munchkin X-Men. You know, if you're an X-Men fan, this is probably uh, right up your alley. And uh, like I said, you know, this is a box breaking, so I've not seen the contents. I mean, I have an idea of what USAopoly does and what Steve Jackson Games do. Um, when the two merge and meet Munchkin, I have no idea what's going to happen. So, inside we have the official Play Munchkin bookmark. And on the back of it, you know, I think I want a little more light maybe. Yeah, I'm good. Um, it has the rules for using the card, basically. Uh, then we have the Munchkin poster fold-out rules, which I hope to read and play this today. Uh, as you can see, the art isn't um, probably your stereotypical munchkin art, and we're going to start taking a look at uh, the cards here. We don't need to, to uh, be busy with the rules too much, right? Um, oh, wow. There's they, they hit the comic book effect quite a bit. Uh, you get uh, three, four, four yellow tokens with the die, with the game. Uh, an X-Men die, which are rolled five, a three... Two. Oh, it's got to be a one. Yeah. I'm going to say it's pretty balanced. Um, and then you also have a student ID card. Or cards, plural, probably. If I can open these. Sometimes I hate plastic. You know, it's just... Annoying. There we go. So we have a uh, student ID here. Well, where's my? We'll zoom in just a hair for this. Uh, this uh, student ID and then you have different ranks which we'll get into when we play the game uh, and each student ID has different types of disciplines this one's a strategist on uh, see on the back you have another strategist and obviously okay so you have the male and the female on the opposite sides of the cards uh, you have a leader here and then you have the female leader on the other side and the bonuses you get uh, the special abilities I should say and then you have a heavy hitter and the female heavy hitter and you have a blaster and a female blaster so we're going to take a look at the cards now uh, we'll probably zoom in a little bit more for the cards <clears throat> so you can uh, read some of them with me and take a look uh, we have a uh, healing factor if you'd lose a level or die due to a trap bad roll or bad stuff Roll the die on five or higher, you cancel the effect. Uh, plus two power bonus, plus one bonus. Clearly, it's following the Munchkin theme, and it should be telekinesis. It looks like there's a lot of uh, a lot of special abilities in the game. I would I would imagine that in the superhero game, the um, instead of having lots of items, you're going to have lots of power bonuses, uh, and then you have allies. Uh, I am the best at what I do, bub. I like it. Wolverine is one of my all-time favorite X-Men. Uh, then you have Cyclops, Beast, um, and these give you bonuses to combat. So uh, for for lack of a better way of saying it, you summon your allies or maybe they play them face down. Like I said, I haven't read the rules yet. Uh, Storm, I'm very fond of the art in this. Oh, look at Colossus. That's wicked. Uh, Havoc, um, in my opinion, an X-Men that did not see enough uh, comic book time. Cable, another great character. Um, so now you have Psychic Knife, Psylocke's Katana, Bishop Shotgun, Soul Swords. Uh, oops. The, oh, sorry, my allergies are kicking in and I'm scratching my eyeball. Uh, Muramasa Blade, Silver Samurai's Katana, Cable's Arsenal, Adamantium Claws. Uh, you know, and so we there is actually quite a bit more equipment than I figured there would be. Uh, Banshee's wingsuit, nice. Iceman's armor. 
Wolverine's adamantium skeleton. I like it a lot. Um, Quicksilver's boots. Cyclops' visor. Cerebro. It's only a plus one bonus, really? Hmm. We'll find out what it does. Plus two bonus. Players may, only, may not steal cards from you. I'm going to say that's broken. That's like, wow, real good. Hope there's only one of these in the deck. Decks. Juggernaut's helmet. Lockheed. Uh, play during combat. Usable only once. Forges gadgets. Uh huh. Technology. And we're going to move through here. I'm hoping to get to uh, the villains. I want to see the villains. I want to see who they put in here. Ooh, the Morlocks. Nice. Plus five bonus to either side. Cosmic Cube. Wow, either side really um, takes the backstabbing up a level when you think about it. Oh, yeah. So set somebody up, stab them in the back. Sounds great to me. Phoenix Force. Nice. We'll steal a level. Levels are important. They always have been. Go up a level, go up a level, go up a level. Come on. Come on. Alright, here we go. More cards. Well, the rest of the cards. Rah. So we have Graydon Creed. And he does bad stuff. Level 1, bad stuff. We got Toad. Bolivar Trask, Sentinel, MK1, or Mark 1, if you're like me as a kid. I read him as Mark 1 all the time. Uh, William Stryker, yeah, he does bad stuff too, right? Sauron, oh, that's awesome. I love the art in this too. It's, it's you know, I was thinking that when they, they were going to come out with X-Men Munchkin, or Munchkin X-Men, excuse me, um, it was going to be much more Steve Jackson-y. And I was concerned that people wouldn't like it because the art is different. Now, some people might be concerned that it's not Steve Jackson -y enough. You know, it doesn't follow the Munchkin theme. Uh, but I think this is actually really good. And I think it'll it'll cross the bridge and reach out to comic book collect collectors a little bit more uh, than it would have if it was, like, um, more Munchkin-esque. Um, so, uh, here's a level 6, Sebastian Shaw. The Bob. Level 7. Mystique. Of course, she's level 7, right? Sabretooth, level 8. Okay, Phalanx, Juggernaut, Emma Frost, uh, Nimrod, of course, Bastion, Master Mold, oh, level 14. Mr. Sinister, Strife, Magneto, yeah, that fits, 18. Oh, I don't know, Onslaught at 20. He's pretty powerful, but somebody's going to argue with me on this, I know. And then you have the Affiliations. Um, you may have two extra ranks worth of powers. Uh, when another player discards an ally, you may discard two cards and put that ally in your hand. That's pretty good, actually. Wow, when you think about it. Oh, and here's the so here's the X Men, and then here's the affiliation of X Factor. Uh, when you play play a, a go up a level card, you may discard a card to force another player to lose a level. <laughs> That's really good. And X Force. Gosh, I remember reading these comics as a kid. That should kind of maybe date myself a little bit. I started buying them at issue one. Wandering Monsters. Team Ups. You may have two Team Up affiliation cards and have all the advantages and disadvantages of each, or you may have one affiliation card and have all of its disadvantages. And none of its, or all of its advantages and none of its disadvantages. Interesting. And then you've got some uh, plus 10 bonuses here. You've got Uncanny, of course. You have to have Uncanny with the X-Men. How can you not? Um, then you have Unstoppable, New and Improved, Vulnerable, Cheat. <laughs> Good picture for Cheat. Uh, Illusion, Evolutionary War, Mutant Massacre, Mojo World, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. These are traps now. Um, Hellfire Club, let's see, what, what is there a trap here that I actually want to, mm. yeah, let's read the Re Mutant Registration Act, 
Lose a power and lose a level. That's interesting, right? Uh, plus one bonus power rank is flight, optic blasts, telepathy, and heightened senses. So, inside the uh, Munchkin X-Men box set, you get the uh, student ID cards. Let's zoom out. You get all the cards, you get the official Munchkin bookmark, the rules, level tokens. Thanks for watching guys, this has been a box breaking with Matt Lemke from Two Gamer Goggles on Munchkin X-Men from USAopoly and Steve Jackson Games. You know, co-licensed and stuff. Anyway, uh, for those of you guys that uh, aren't aware, I am going to Origins and I will see you there.